Hi, it is October 26th. I am Mark Stewart, and I want to speak especially to younger people, millennials, and those who care about the welfare of millennials. I begin with three questions. You're smart. You can answer these. What is a 49er? Now, I'm not referring to the football 49ers, and I know I'm dressed a little bit like Jerry Rice right now. I'm not referring to those from 1849 who sought their fortunes in a gold rush to California after whom the football team was named. I am referring to the modern 49er as a company, a medium-sized company with 49 or fewer employees that struggles if they want to go to employee 50. Why? Because of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, I call it the MUC, okay, the Monumentally Unaffordable Care Heist. This has been foisted on us, and look at one of the consequences. 49 employees, or you are subject to much higher penalties as a 50-person employer. So, a lot of companies don't want to grow, and it keeps a lot of deserving people from being hired. What's a 29er? That's the modern term for those people who can't be hired for any job more than 29 hours a week. And that's also a perverted consequence of the Affordable Care Act. That's because at hour 30, you are considered a full-time employee, and thus the mandates of the Unaffordable Care Act come into play. What does that mean, especially for millennials? It means you can't make it on one job, which used to give you 40 hours a week or more. So you might work two jobs. And how is it building a career in any one of them? Careers are built on full-time work and overtime work. You can't get the meaningful uplift, the responsibility that deserve promotion when you're still relocated to part-time work. And that's what Obamacare does, especially to young and otherwise ambitious people. Give you one more number. What's a 4300? The modern 4300, tick, tick, tick. It's the average deductible now that Obamacare has been fully implemented. Deductibles on health insurance for individuals used to routinely be between $1,000 and $2,500. Okay? On individuals now, $4,300. On married couples, $6,000 is about the average. It is the health insurer's way of manipulating the system thanks to government legislation. Well-meaning legislation, perhaps, but look at the consequences that any savings you might get in your health policy premiums are more than offset with the amount you have to pay should you incur an injury. And even worse, maybe you don't have to, maybe you don't even get the 6000 because you're afraid to report it. So it's a $12,000 expense, and you suck it up lest your premiums go higher and you not get covered in the first place. I never want to criticize without a solution. Okay, What, what should replace the Affordable Care Act? I mean, most of Congress seems to be struggling with that. But none of Congress has an elected libertarian. Well, let's take the libertarian view which is my view. I happen to be a Democrat, but I'd like to instill liberty-minded values, as Jefferson would have, into our modern process. The right replacement for mandated health care is the free market. Let people choose. You will get lower premiums. You will get a choice in deductibles. You will not be forced into seeing certain doctors that you do not feel comfortable with. The epitome of progressive legislation 
is in fact not even legislation. It was what was foisted on us through the manipulation of Obama administration officials. Look up this name, Jonathan Gruber. An evil, and I rarely use that word, but an evil, elitist, condescending, smug professor who put the makings of Obamacare together with the idea of fooling people. He even admits that. Look it up. This is where progressives trust because they think they're smarter than you. They then want to legislate for you instead of giving you choice. Don't do it. Resist that kind of takeover. I started a group called The Resistance in 2013 precisely as this monstrosity was being implemented. It's still around, weresist.us. Please take a look there and maybe look up Gruber. Good luck.